I was at Big Valley Jamboree in Alberta, Canada for a country music festival. I had been drinking lots of beer and eating greasy food all day. My buddy showed up with his motor home. We were drinking, laughing, and had a few girls with him too. My dumb drunk ass thought it would be funny to fart and make them all smell it. But little did I know there was some poop ready to come out. So I went to push my fart and shit my pants. I had to run to the outhouse, throw my underwear away, and go take a shower to clean up. And to this day, he, he still has no clue that I shit myself in his RV. Alright, you know, the type of person who would think it's funny to, like, who would think that, like, women would think it's funny to, like, fart and make them smell it, is the type of guy who would listen to country music. Because, you know, country music... If you ask me, it's for morons. Every song, it's just like, I got a cold beer, and I'm on my tractor, gonna plow some corn. Oh, I see a girl, she's wearing boots. Yeah, I got my tractor, I'm looking for corn. Yeah, and I'm in the south. Yeah, I'm white and stupid, and I'm on my tractor, and I'm looking for the honky-tonk, so I can shake my big, fat, white, stupid ass with some dumb trailer bitches. Yeah. I was a bartender at a bar in college. This kid with 47 came in. Not saying he's 47 years old. I'm saying he had 47 chromosomes. Well, yeah. So this kid ordered a drink at my bar. I thought in my head, do I serve this kid or not? Like, where are his parents? Listen, my cousin has autism, and he plays with Transformers and shit. Like, I didn't know if I was breaking the law or some shit. But we live in a day and age where you can't discriminate. So Buddy could have had three arms, and I still would have had to serve him. So, you know, I did. I poured him a fat fucking shot, too. Anyways, kid takes the shot and sips, and is off the walls. Turns out I looked it up on my phone, and that it's not illegal to serve people with special needs, but it's frowned upon. So I look around, and just felt guilty. So my question for you, Jameson, and all the other people listening is obviously, would you serve a kid with autism? Yeah, I would serve a kid with autism, because you know what? Like, who's to say, like, he doesn't want to get fucked up, too? Like, so, just because he has special needs, it's like, now he doesn't have, like, free will? Like, what if he wants to, like, smash a chick? Is it going to be illegal? Is it going to be illegal for him to smash, for him to smash girls as well? You know, like, why are we going to, why are we going to take away his quality of life? Like, maybe Buddy wants to just get fucking faded and listen to Mo Bamba. Like... Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, mate, your cousin likes to play with Transformers, but maybe dude likes to fucking rip shots and fucking fist bump, you know? Like, that's that's his thing. So, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, let the man live. Like, he's obviously capable enough to end up at a bar. And, you know, I think that Maybe, like, I got a little bit of tism myself. I think we all got a little bit of tism. Because, <clears throat> you know, you should see you should see some people that are just, like, out here normal in society. And they go into, like, social situations. And it's like, whoa. You know, you're struggling. I think everyone's got a little tism. And that's just me. I think that we, we kind of... There's too much stigma around it. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, dude's just a dude. Dude wants to fucking rip shots. Like, that's what's fucking up. So my boy went on a date with his 10 out of 10 smoke show. The night went really well. Nice dinner. Won $300 at the casino. Both of them had a lot of fun and there was a good connection. He slept in her bed but didn't get any action. Then the morning came around and he woke up with a really bad stomach ache. Furthermore, he sharded himself in the car and she clearly could hear all the noises his stomach was making. She had not gotten back to him since the date, but if he but he isn't sure if the morning blew it for him. Thoughts? 
Dude, you take a girl out to a nice dinner, you show her, you show her, I can make some money, I win $300 at the casino, and then she's not into you because, like, you fucking, like, do human things, like, that's BS, you don't want that girl anyways, cause you know what, one day is gonna come, and she's gonna smell your shit, and like, if that's a deal breaker for her, She's losing out on a real nice man. You know what? Like, my girl smelled my shit all the time. She hates it. It's sm- like, cause I eat my vegetables. Like, there's a definite pungency to it. But that's something you look past. Like, and you know that 10 out of 10 smoke show, she takes fucking fat shits. And she's gonna. Throw away a good connection, a great night, a man who can put bread on the table just because he poops like she doesn't herself. Like the entitlement. The entitlement just. It's crazy. Like she doesn't fucking shit, huh? Okay. Sure, Brittany. I don't have a story. I have a question. I've been with my boyfriend for almost six months now, and I just got tested and it came back positive for the clap. I put my hoe days to rest once I met him. I know for a fact I'm the one who had it to begin with, and he for sure has it too now. How the fuck do I tell him I have chlamydia without him thinking I cheated on him or just thinking I'm gross? Please help a bitch out. Thank you. Well... What you definitely don't do is tell him that that you have chlamydia because he's going to think that you cheated on him or that you're gross. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go to the supermarket. You're going to buy frozen fruit, Greek yogurt, almond milk, and some spinach if you want to get your vitamins in. And guess what? Now you guys are having smoothies. Every day, you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to make your man a smoothie. You're going to pop the chlamydia pills in there. He's never going to know he had it. He's just going to be all vitamined up and ready to fucking get it every day. You know, I have a smoothie every day anyways. You should start drinking smoothies every day. Like, you see me glowing? Now you know why. Have a smoothie every day. Feel great. Get ready to fucking eat today's pussy. Fucking get those vitamins. Do it up. Smoothie time. One time I was in the bathroom doing blow with a couple girls when one of them got a text from a man she liked that he wanted her to come over to copulate. She then decided her next move was to pick up a dirty razor off of the shower to shave her pussy for said guy thoughts that's a bold queen right there and that's the kind of that's the kind of devotion you need in a woman to be just on the spot ready like oh hey I'm trying to smash and then just alright word I'm in this bathroom with multiple people let me just shave my pussy with this dirty razor not the cleanest move but When it comes down to the thoughts behind it, you know, she wants you to enjoy her nicely, fresh-shaven love canal. And, you know, you that's something to be thankful for. You know, this woman, this woman cares. This woman thinks, thinks about you. She cares what you think. That's the type of woman that you marry. The type of woman that'll shave her pussy in a bathroom full of other people. You know, maybe get a different razor. Or maybe... Maybe just rock the bush like your boy does. But... Morally speaking... When it comes to this woman's intentions... That's a keeper, man. That's a keeper. She's got she's got the right hat on her shoulders.